Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, I get asked quite often what size lens filter goes with my lenses. So I'm gonna answer that question for you right after this. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Well, so yeah, I get asked quite often, hey Joe, man, I just bought these new lens. What size filter goes on it? Well, to be quite honest with you, at one time I didn't know either. And many years ago when I first bought my first interchangeable lens camera, you know, I had a couple of lenses that come bought in the kit and I ran out to Best Buy and I got the wrong ones. <laughs> so yeah, it does happen. And here I'm gonna show, I got a couple of lenses here on my table. And each one of these, you know, I can show you what filter size actually goes with it. Now, the first one I got here is my EF uh, 35mm F2 USM lens from Canon. Now, this is a uh, really nice little lens, but that's not what's important. What's important is, you look here on front, you see the writing and stuff. Let me get it on the top camera here. It says Canon lens EF 35mm. But if we look over here at the other side, the bottom here, let me see if I can get it. Here we go. We see a little diameter sign and it says 67 millimeter. Okay, that tells me the lens filter for this one is a 67 millimeter. Now I have another little filter here. So the Kenko Zeta here, really good filters, highly recommend them. If we look here, it says Kenko Zeta ND8 wideband, that's what the W stands for. Then it says 58 millimeter. All right. So even though this is a 35 millimeter lens, this little filter here, this 58 millimeter, is still too small. So as you can see, the actual focal length has nothing to do with the actual filter. Now we got another lens here. Now this is the Canon EF 85 millimeter F 1.8. Now this is a, another lens I got and I've had for a very long time. As so we can look, unfortunately, we don't see any writing here on front. None at all. Now we got some writing here on the uh, little metal band at the top. We look around, look around. We see a lot of information. But guess what? It's not listed on this one. So if you run into that predicament where you don't have your box, you don't have any other filters to try on it, and you're really not sure which ones go with it, well, here's the cap it goes on this one. And if I look inside this cap here, it says E58mm, okay? So that tells me that if this cap goes on it, it's a 58 millimeter cap. And I'll see if I can't show you. You can barely make it out, see if I can't get a little light to reflect in there. You may not be able to see it in there through the other top camera. But yeah, it says E58mm. So this cap is a 58 millimeter. Let's me know, hey, that's a 58 millimeter filter thread on here. And of course, this is that your filter I actually bought for this particular lens. So, and we see 58 millimeter screws right on. All right, so we got some more lenses here. Now I have the new Tamron uh, 7200 uh, F28 G2 lens. Now I just did a review on this lens. If anybody's interested, I'll put that link up in the cards. So we look on here, got no writing on front either. No writing around the front top. But we do got a little writing right here it says SP 70 to 200 and the other information about the lens. However, we look real close here. We see nothing about the diameter of the filter thread. Now this particular one, I know it's a 77, but if we look here on the bottom, you can see right here. And we can see some faint gray uh, writing says made in China, A025 and a diameter of 77 millimeter. Let me see if I can get that on the camera just right. So that tells me this filter thread is a 77 millimeter. And of course it is because I have the filter, one of my filters for it right here, a little protection filter, which can be challenging to put on. All right, I'll put that on later. So anyway, got those figured out. 77 for that one. Like I said, just look for that diameter sign. Anytime you see it, that's the filter size. But what happens if you got one of these that does not have any filter threads for a filter. Now this is a little Rokinon 14 mil, and unfortunately, it's got a built-on pedal top hood, which is great, but it's got a very bulbous looking front element here on it, and well, you can't really put a filter on it. 
Now some of these, some models, do actually have little gel filters that drop in. As a matter of fact, even some long telephoto uh, Canon lenses actually have uh, where you can put a, let's say, a 58 millimeter or smaller filter into the actual front of the lens next to the camera uh, and stuff to kind of help with any kind of filter issues, you know, for like sports lenses and stuff of that nature. But these particular ones, you can't actually put a screw and filter on it without a actual extra uh, accessory that actually goes around the lens, kind of bolts to the pedal hoods here. And you can put like 105 millimeter filters on front of it. And those are kind of expensive. They run about the same cost as this lens does. So I wouldn't recommend it for this lens. But if you've got like say like the Canon 11 to 22, another a very wide angle lens, yeah, maybe something you want to consider. But anyway, that's how to look for what filter size goes with your lens. So anyway, I hope this helps, you know, if, and helps kind of answer any question. Hey, Joe, what filter size goes on my lens? Just look for the diameter sign. You find the diameter sign, you'll know exactly what uh, size filter it fits. But anyway, that's it for this video, everyone. I hope you like it. I hope you found it helpful. If you do, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, you know, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.